Mr. Salem Muslim, the leader of the Democratic Union Party, yesterday Turkey issued an arrest warrant for you, uh, allegedly your role in a uh, bombing in Turkey. First of all, I would like to get your reaction. What is Turkey trying to do? How do you comment do this move from Ankara? Uh, well, uh, it's not the first time they are saying so, but uh, it's first time, I mean, uh, it's uh, one arrest from the, the court, I mean, in Ankara. Uh, which is uh, totally is false. I mean, even uh, if you remember this uh, February incident, what happened, I mean, we condemned it, it, it was okay, and then uh, tagged, said, uh, hold the responsibility for it, it was okay. I mean, uh, nobody said that you are related. I mean, at that time they mentioned the name uh, from Amuda. We searched it, there was nobody under this name or from all Amuda. So, uh, it's nothing to do. And secondly, I am not a, a Turkish citizen. I mean, I don't belong to Turkey, so how it will be affected, I don't know, really. But uh, well, we 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 wouldn't uh, do anything. I mean, for us, maybe the their aim is just to prevent our moving in Europe and talking to the politicians and the, uh, the governments, the MPs in Europe, and so. I think it wouldn't affect. From our side, it wouldn't affect. So this, the aim of this move is to limit, to restrict, to limit your diplomatic uh, affairs, diplomatic work in Europe. But you don't think it's going to be effective? Uh, no, I don't think so. Man. Because well, uh, uh, there is nobody will be will uh, take care of this. I mean, uh, it's a, such a resolution or so, uh, because everybody knows there is no. I mean. Uh, there is no nothing true. I mean, behind this, uh, what they have said. Yes, Turkey has long been uh, saying that PYD and PKK are have organic links. And uh, how do you comment on that? What is your relationship with the PKK? Uh, well, we are we respect all the Kurdistani parties, and they were from our side in the dark days, and still. Uh, we are. We see them uh, helpful. We would like to have a good relation with all the party, and they are all the same for us. Uh, PDK and PUK and Islamis and uh, even HDP and PKK is one of those party, northern parties, and brother parties. I mean, we are sharing the same people, and uh, so it's all right. But for organic relations, we don't have any organic relations. Uh, if they want, maybe they can sign any agreement with us and to see if we are going to PKK or not. And uh, they know better than everybody that we are independent for our decisions. We are decided for Rojava and we'll keep doing so. Uh, coming back to Rojava, uh, there are reports that in Bab and Membej area, uh, Turkish attacks has been has intensified in recent days. How is this affecting the uh, global war against ISIS? Whereas there's such an important operation to liberate Raqqa has started, is this hindering the efforts of Kurds and their allies uh, to liberate Raqqa, the Turkish recent moves? Uh, well, sure. I mean, uh, from the beginning, we said Turkey is helping Daesh. It's not going to fight against Daesh any time because it's a tool used by Turkey against the Kurds. And uh, maybe they have created this tool even. And because of that, we don't think there will be any serious fighting between Turkish side and so. And we saw this example in Jarabis when they moved in. And there were some Daesh members that just cut their beard and changed their clothes. They became uh, a soldier of Turkey, deciding the side fighting. So because of that, I think the Turkish uh, invasion to see uh, an occupying of the land is just help for. And Daesh, and uh, just you remember, I mean, uh, it came when they were preparing to attack, uh, to start the liberation of Raqqa. So they made this invasion. They're still insisting, uh, by doing so, they are trying to prevent any uh, defeat of Daesh by this uh, help and this movement. And uh, now, even in the villages occupied by Turkey, there is no difference between them and Daesh. They are changing the. the Demography for the areas, the villages, uh, removing the curse, the same what Daesh was doing, they are continuing not to do. So, of course, I mean, it, it will affect our, the efforts internationally because 
Uh, Turkey is not genuine for fighting Daesh. They, they have done the same in Al Musul when they said we will share it and uh, we will do it in Bashika and so on. So they didn't allow them. We hope they wouldn't allow Turkey here also to help. Why is the world silent if you're, what you're saying is true? How come the international community is silent, not doing uh, anything to prevent this? Uh, well, I think because uh, Turkey's diplomacy, especially against the West and Europe, is depending on the on blackmailing. They are trying to blackmail for everything, and even for refugees, for injury, for fighting, for so. Uh, so they are blackmailing. So I mean, it's a threat by Turkey themselves to them to cut the relations. I mean, uh, maybe economical relations and uh, economical ties and changing them from Europe to Russia and so on. So they are applying. So I think this this is for false diplomacy. It shouldn't be like that. Mr. Russell, my last question about the new uh, president of the United States. Mr. Donald Trump is going to be the new president of the United States. How do you uh, predict, how do you foresee the relationship between uh, the Syrian Kurds and uh, the new uh, U.S. administration, especially the war against uh, ISIS and also do you expect uh, this relationship to, uh, to, to gain political and social and economic aspects as well? Uh, well, uh, I think the strategy of a big country like uh, United States, big power, it wouldn't be changed by changing the president because this strategy, at least uh, what I know, it was planned since 2001. So it wouldn't be changed so easily. It could be harder or softer, it's something different, I mean, depend on that. But what we are expecting, I mean, this hard line will continue against uh, terrorism and uh, uh, this alliance between the um, democratic Syrian forces and international alliance uh, will be strengthened, uh, what we are expecting, yes. Uh, and, uh, of course, I mean, from our side, uh, maybe we have uh, allies for, uh, against Daesh till now for fighting in the army side only. Uh, of course, we are expecting to have diplomatic relations and political relations, at least to listen to us, to understand what we are doing. We are expecting such from the uh, new administration also. I mean, to have uh, good and uh, close relations, politically even, yes. Mr. Muslim, thank you very much for speaking to VOA. Thank you, Ryan. Good luck.